Bonaboy pays tribute to Whiskey Mom at US concert. Grammy winning Nigeria singer Bonaboy pays tribute to the late mother of his colleague Whiskey during a concert in Detroit, United States. Bonaboy paused his set at the Afro Nation feast to ask the crowd to observe a mini silence for Miss Jane Dalakbo Balogu, who died on Friday. He then sang a line from his collaborative song with Whiskey Ginger. Bonaboy and Whiskey are two of the biggest names in Nigerian music and they have been friends and collaborators for many years. Bonaboy's gesture was a touching way to show his support for whiskey during this difficult time. The crowd at the Afro Nation responded with applause and shares, and many people took to social media to praise Bonaboy for his gesture. The tribute was a reminder of the close bond between Bonaboy and whiskey, and it shows the world that they are there for each other even in times of grief. Bonaboy and whiskey have collaborated on several songs, including Ginger, Come Closer, and Spirit. Bonaboy is a Grammy winning artist who has been praised for his innovative sound and socially conscious lyrics. Whiskey is one of the most popular musicians in Africa and has won numerous awards including BET Award for Best International Art. The Afro Nation Fest is an annual music festival that celebrates African culture and music. John O'Malley is stunned at Jamin Styling with picture perfect KO at UFC 292. In a stunning upset, Sean O'Malley knocked out Al Jamin Styling with a picture perfect left hook in the second round of their UFC 292 Bantamweight title fight on Saturday night in Boston. The fight was expected to be a close one with Styling defending champion and O'Malley the rising star. But O'Malley showed why he is one of the most exciting fighters in the UFC, putting on a striking clinic and knocking Styling out out cold with a perfectly placed punch. The knockout came at the 2 minutes 22 second mark on the second round. O'Malley landed a left hook that sent Styling staggering backward. Styling tried recover but O'Malley swarmed him with punches and landed another left hook that put him down for good. The win was a huge upset for O'Malley who was a plus 250 underdog into the fight. It also put him in the line for a title shot against TJ Delashaw who is the current interim bantamweight champion. Styling was gracious in defeat saying that Omole was the better fighter on the night. He caught me with a good shot, Styling said. I'm not going to make any excuses. He won. Omole was ecstatic after the win, calling it the best moment of my life. He also said that he was ready for a title shot against Delasho. I am the new champion, Omole said. I want Delasho next. The win was a major boost for Omole's career. He is now one of the most popular fighters in the UFC and is a legitimate contender for the bantamweight title. With his exciting style and knockout power, Omole is sure to be a major player in the UFC for years to come. Jagu, jagu. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Netflix will release slate of Nigerian films and series after Jagun Jagun. After the success of the Yoruba epic Jagun Jagun, Netflix has announced a slate of new Nigerian films and series. The upcoming title include The Black Book, The Blood Vessel, Ijogbo, and Nikolakbo series, Law, and the Lottery series. The films and series will explore a variety of genre and themes, and they will be available to stream on Netflix in 2023. The announcement is a sign of Netflix's commitment to investing in Nigerian storytelling. The company has been steadily increasing its investment in Nigeria content in recent years and it is clear that they are eager to bring more Nigerian series to a global audience. The upcoming slate of films and series is a testament to the growing popularity of Nigerian cinema. Nigerian films have been gaining traction on the international stage in recent years and they are now being recognized for their quality and creativity. The upcoming Netflix title are sure to further solidify Nigerian position as a major player in the global film industry. I to go up. Yes, I am. 
beautiful. Don Jazzy unveiled new artist, Life Size Steady. Nigerian music mogul Don Jazzy has unveiled his latest signee, Life Size Steady. The rapper, poet, singer, and songwriter is from Boni Island, River State. She is known for her electric sound and her ability to blend genres. Life Size Steady released her debut EP, Life Size Steady, on August 9, 2023. The EP features five songs, including the single Air and Hypnotic. Don Jazzy is known for his knack for sporting talent, and Life Size Steady is not an exception. She is a rising star in the Nigerian music industry, and her debut EP is a promising start to her career. Her real name is Treasure Apiafi Banigo. She is 22 years old. She is a graduate of University of Port Harcourt. She is a member of Maven Academy, Don Jazzy Music and Talent Development Program. She is inspired by a variety of artists, including Lauryn Hill, Kendrick Lamar, and Bonner Boy. Life Size Steady is a talented and versatile artist with a bright future ahead of her. She is sure to make wave in the Nigerian music industry in the years to come. Drake hit out at fan for train book at his head on stage. Drake was performing at the Budweiser stage in Toronto on Saturday night when a fan threw a book at his head. The rapper stopped the show and called the fan out, saying, Who the F threw that book? I will F you up. Drake then continued the show, but he was clearly upset by the incident. The letter took to Twitter to address the fan, saying, Don't ever throw anything at me, ever. You don't know what I'm capable of. The fan who threw the book has not been identified. However, Drake's security team is reportedly investigating the incident. This is not the first time that Drake has been a target of fan violence. In 2017, a fan punched him in the face during a performance in Amsterdam. Drake was not seriously injured, but he was shaken by the incident. Drake is one of the most popular rappers in the world, and he has a large and passionate fan base. However, it is important for fans to remember that their actions can have consequences. Throwing object at a performer is dangerous and disrespectful, and it could result in serious consequences for the fans. The book that was thrown at Drake was a hardcore a copy of his own book, Views. The fan who threw the book was reportedly a male in his early 20s. Drake's security team was able to identify the fan and remove him from the venue. Drake has not pressed charges against the fan. The incident is a reminder that fans should always behave respectfully at concert and other live events. Throwing objects at the fans is dangerous and could result in serious consequences for both the fan and the performer. Yes, yes, yo, it's your boy St. Leo Ra here. Welcome back from the entertainment gist of this week. Hope you guys enjoy the program. From Bonaboy Pain, One Minute Silent for Whiskey's Mom's Death, and also to Netflix releasing more films and series of Nigeria content, down to Don Jazzy unveiling new artists. Please kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Your comment is also welcome. Thank you for your time. Hope you guys enjoy the program. See you in the next one.